当然，疫情对我们来说是一个不好的事情，可是其实我们去反思另外一个方向，转头去思考，它多了更多的时间让我们跟家人相处，哦，也多了一些哎、欸、发掘新的兴趣，哦，这些东西，只要我们能够保持乐观跟信心，一定能够度过疫情。来，你看哦，皮肤光亮，眼睛也明亮的这一种，就是新鲜的证明。脚虾这样的程度是可以直接生吃的，谢谢。直接吃就可以了，是不是？嗯、非常的脆口，然后又鲜甜，好吃。那老板，这两个就都给我好了，好谢谢你哦，帮我包起来。我今天来的这个地方是南方澳的鱼市场。它的鱼货种类非常多，而且每天都有渔船在进出。这边的海鲜是非常新鲜的。那老板，这石斑鱼怎么卖呢？好，三百，要不五百给你们优待。OK， 那我选一下哦。好，蛮新鲜的，而且肉质好像也蛮肥美。直接叫他帮我处理好之后，我回去用一些。新香料加一些米酒，直接用清蒸，肉质就已经很好吃。那我本身是教高中数学的补习班老师，然后我还有一间民宿。那其实疫情对我这两个行业冲击都蛮大的，所以顿时间除了说收入减少以外，我时间变蛮多。不过在我开始啊把这些时间变成去煮饭的时候。哦，做料理，那我就发现说，哎、欸，除了外面有个世界，那么其实在家里也可以产生一个新的世界，料理的世界。What exactly is a sour bomb? Maybe if you break down the name, it will be a sourdough bomboloni. Bomboloni is from Italian origin. It's like kind of like a street food. That was where I first got the idea from. Uh, basically, it's a stuffed donut, and our dough is made with sourdough. That's what is different about our donut, lah. A lot of the bread that you have outside, right, all taste kind of the same, and it's because they use the same kind of instant yeast. They always have a very similar flavor profile, and actually, I grew up not liking bread. As I grew older, then I learned about like different cultures and European bread. I had like an interest in it for some reason. I think because it's in line with baking, and then I tried sourdough from restaurants and cafes. From there, then I tried making sourdough myself. I just fell in love with like the whole texture, flavor of like sourdough. So all the frying is done. And then after the frying is done, we will do the piping, and then we will display for the front, and we also do the pre-orders as well. We have quite a lot of orders, um, and it's a new menu today, so we have like a whole new bunch of like new items on the menu. We have a kalua liquor one, which I'm very happy with the result because like it's coffee and alcohol, <laughs> cannot go wrong. This is like our new glazed donut series. The first one is a mango mousse bomb. Basically, there's like mango chunks, mango mousse, and the exterior is coated with a pistachio passion fruit glaze. And then we're gonna top it with a matcha ganache later. There's one more. It's called the atomic bomb. So basically, it's like a Boston cream donut. Then inside is a brown butter thyme custard. The top right will be a peanut granola with potato chips and also pretzels. Oh yeah. Jadi ini sekarang makanan yang saya lagi bikin ini namanya crispy pata. atau kita biasa sebutnya taunya pork knuckle. Ini dia dari bagian uh, kaki belakang. Nah, ini sekarang kita lagi 
marinate dulu dengan uh, garam dan aromatik ya oke okay, setelah ini kita masukin kulkas dulu baru nanti uh, 2-3 jam lagi kita mulai masak oke okay, jadi untuk hidangan yang kedua ini yang saya mau bikin ini namanya lecon manok manok itu mirip kayak bahasa jawa ya manok berarti artinya burung jadi ini sebenarnya hanya ayam panggang aja Uh, untuk bumbu-bumbunya sih cukup simpel ya. Saya cuma mau numbuk ini ada jahe, ada sereh. Kita tumbuk uh, biar aromanya lebih keluar aja. Seperti ada lemon juice, ada chicken powder, ada gula merah, ada garam sama soy sauce. Untuk cairannya kita nggak pakai air putih, tapi kita di sini pakai sprite biar dia ada manis-manisnya gitu. Sama ada sedikit saus tiram. Sekarang akhirnya ayamnya bisa kita mulai masukin oven. Kita uh, roti seri istilahnya. Saya tambahin sedikit dari marinetannya di bawah sini. Jadi dia masih ada aromanya. Oke, kalau udah. Ya, kita nyalain. Set suhunya di 180. Satu jam sampai satu jam setengah lah. Tergantung besar ayamnya sih. Jadi untuk pornakel ini tadi setelah kita konfi selama 3 jam dan dia empuk, uh, sekarang kita goreng proses selanjutnya ya. Iya, emang <laughs> saya susahnya kalau dagang gitu ya, nggak tegaan kalau porsinya terlalu dikit. Kayaknya saya gimana, sedangkan uh, namanya bisnis kan yang penting harus cuan ya. <laughs> Akhirnya ya udah, sedangkan yang saya tahu hanya masak. Saya nggak tahu uh, pekerjaan yang lain gitu. Dari semenjak saya lulus kuliah sampai sekarang, saya hanya tahu masak aja. Jadi ya meskipun saya bukan orang bisnis, tapi ya yang penting saya bisa bikin orang happy dengan masakan saya sih. Itu aja. Saya sekarang uh, bekerja self-employed. Uh, sebelum ini saya bekerja sebagai uh, sous chef lebih tepatnya di sebuah uh, restoran upscale di Bilangan Jakarta Selatan. Jadi waktu itu uh, awal pandemi itu restoran kan semua tutup ya. Jadi kita juga waktu itu ada sedikit pemotongan gaji lah ya agar bisa sama-sama survive antara kalau begini sih mungkin nggak cukup ya kalau dengan gaji yang terpotong seperti itu akhirnya saya memutuskan untuk ke wira swasta karena memang ya hanya itu yang sejauh ini saya tahu ya memasak gitu kebetulan istri orang uh, Filipin dan saya pikir ada market yang ada di situ tapi belum banyak yang menyediakan saya pikir kenapa enggak gitu untuk bikin makanan Filipin jadi memang saya itu lahir dari keluarga yang memang uh, pemasak semua ya. Jadi uh, memang mereka nggak profesional tapi emang punya warung atau hobi memasak. Jadi saya dari kecil tuh udah biasa banget uh, lihat nenek saya masak, uh, lihat tante saya masak. Dan saya udah, udah, udah bisa tuh bedain yang mana lengkuas, yang mana jahe. Nggak kayak anak-anak muda zaman sekarang. Um, jadi untuk makanan yang kali ini, masakan yang sekarang yang saya mau buat ini uh, namanya sisik. Ini sih saya masak buat makan malam aja, buat sama istri. Sisik ini sih pada dasarnya terbuat dari bagian-bagian kepala babi ya. Uh, ada telinganya, ada uh, jaulnya atau rahang, ada cheeknya, ada pipi, dan uh, kadang-kadang ada sedikit lidah juga. Karena di base Amerika itu banyak yang pakai uh, pork untuk makanan para jurid-prajuritnya, Kepala ini nggak gitu terpakai, sama prajurit-prajurit itu dibuang. Akhirnya orang sana lihat, oh sayang nih, kayaknya bisa diolah jadi sesuatu gitu. Iya bedanya kalau di restoran kan saya kerja dengan bahan-bahan yang terbaik ya. 
bahan-bahan yang ekspensif, eksotik gitu ya. Udah gitu tentunya kerja di line adrenalin ya. Namanya lagi sibuk gitu kan. Itu aja sih bedanya dengan sekarang. Kalau sekarang uh, lebih santai. Saya nggak bisa bilang lebih baik mana, tapi tiap sisi punya plusnya masing-masing sih. Oke, okay, um, setelah kita potong-potong kecil, uh, langkah berikutnya kita mau uh, seasoning dulu. Ada bawang bombay se- sesuai selera aja. Lalu kemudian ada black pepper. Lalu kita di sini juga ada pakai uh, mayones sedikit. Uh, mungkin agak bingung orang-orang kenapa pakai mayones. Karena mayones ini dia uh, sebenarnya emulsi dari fat juga ya. Jadi mayones ini fungsinya nanti mirip kayak uh, minyaknya sih gitu. Untuk biar dia nggak lengket ke, ke wajannya. I think like the most straightforward flavor would be the blueberry lemon thyme. I love blueberry a lot. Like I love blueberry. And lemon custard is a very classic feeling in Italian bomboloons. The most unexpected one would be the bass bun cheesecake. At that time, during COVID, right, there was this big craze with like the big bass bun cheesecake, right? I was like, yeah, I want to make that into a donut. Because it would be quite cool and it really was. Uh. During COVID was my internship period. So I come from the Culinary Institute of America. So for myself, right, I was dated to go into New York City. It took a lot to be able to get a placement there because they required me to have a face-to-face interview. It was my first time ever traveling alone in New York somewhere. So um, it was a very good experience. And then uh, I kind of made a good impression, which led them to accepting my internship. Uh, request and then COVID happened. Nobody was hiring. They were like, I can't even keep my own staff. I'm not gonna hire like more interns. So COVID was quite a big obstacle for me, but it provided like a opportunity. I wouldn't think of doing my own home business because my mind was all about doing my internship, learning from all these great chefs, right? But because it was taken away, and I'm not a person who will just like sit there and do nothing and just wait for things to come, right? I wanted to do something about it. Lah. Whenever I feel like there's time on my hands, I will try to do new recipes. And I always tinker around with like a lot of sourdough things. At that moment, I decided to do sourdough donuts, following like one of my favorite bloggers. Lah. When you bake a batch of donuts, right? You have to make like a box of 12 or a box of 24. My family only has four people. So I decided to give away some to my friends. And one of those friends became my business partner. And he just called me one day and he was like, hey, you wanna do business together? And I was like, why not? Because you know, it was a home business. COVID also, nothing much to do. So might as well just do something worthwhile lah at that point in time. And then from there, it just took off. For like a good three months, it was just like crazy queues in the morning. Like we open at 10 and people will come in at 8 just to queue. And then like it'll sneak like the whole length of the shop and like behind to all the way to the traffic light, right? At that time, right, we were severely short-handed. We had to work like 16 hour days and still cannot keep up with the crowd. But I'm very thankful actually. Um, for like everyone who comes through the shop. And every time I see it, I always be like really excited, you know, to like open the shop. Oh,是抹鹽,這是去新的效果,讓他把那個黏液再放出來。對這個世界讓我的生活有更豐富了
，你到最后都调的差不多之后，去试试看它的味道。如果你喜欢吃偏甜的，你就再多加一点糖，糖大约是半匙左右，再一些少许的白胡椒。最后起来加点盐跟葱花。哦，它后面那个酱汁还可以拌饭呢。好的，那我们就可以来自己做试试吧，试看看好了。好，我今天想要尝试一下，试看看蒜味奶油虾，因为刚才 YouTube 上面有看到。我办这件事情。对我来说，一开始都一直以为说把食材丢进去，然后调味料加一加就可以起锅。可是其实自己在煮的过程里面才会发现说，从一开始选食材，然后再选它的新香料，那这些备料的过程里面，到最后把食材加进去，然后全部怎么去拌炒，还有那些时序上的问题，每一个都是功夫。那种洋葱的鲜甜味，搭配蒜头煮过的甜味哦，然后再搭配奶油的那种香味，不管煮任何海鲜都是非常适合的一个调味料。每一次的煮饭就像是一次的探索，对，然后让我更加的喜欢说，哎，原来料理的世界是这么的宽广。邀请你们来家里做客，干一杯。好，来。我们到一个疫情，你的这个厨艺大要进，也是你们肯吃的。好像跟我料理一样，因祸得福啦，对不对？来，喝一口。没想到那倒很像是把一个虚拟的东西，然后把它变成一个具现化。那最后一步，当然就是把这热腾腾的料理端给朋友或端给喜欢的人吃。吃进他们嘴巴之后，他们脸上的那个笑容就是我最大的满足。在我们以前的生活里面，从来没有想过说有一个类似病菌的这东西会影响我们生活这么的广泛跟这么深。嗯，现在台湾这样子，就是大家可以坐下来吃，真的是要很珍惜。对啊，这样子真的感觉真的是不一样的。嗯，整个空气的氛围的那种温度就不太一样。对。疫情爆发，就是在这边住了快半年。嗯、啊啊，最大的差别就是，就是感谢哥做饭给我吃这样子。哦，好。<笑>也感也,也感谢你，每次不管我煮出什么菜，你都认真的把它吃掉。好，你们也是，每次来煮的，不管怎么样，你都会把它吃掉。烹调是一个不止很好，我觉得它是一个很幸福的兴趣。就像现在，我会因为做了这些菜，可是有你们在身边，我会很愿意再做第二次、第三次、第四次。对，那交给你喽。呃，这就是，这也是像我们刚才说，生命的价值之一，就是体验，然后跟朋友之间的温暖。Believe a lot in selling a product. Like, if you don't sell a product, even if it's the best thing in the world, you must give someone like a reason to buy it. They have to like be enticed with words and all those kind of stuff. So I guess that is where like marketing comes in. It really like put a light on your products, and people will be like, oh, I really feel like trying from just looking at it, from just like hearing about it. And I think that's very very important when it comes to like businesses. When I opened the shop, right, I had a lot of ideas. I kid you not, right, all the ingredients that I prepared for, like, like I wanted to make focaccia and like tarts and quiche and 
don't know whatever lah, besides donuts lah, I want to do everything else, I want to do cakes lah, whatever. All the ingredients, right, I just scrap it. After the first day, I was like, nope, wait, I'm not ready for this. I had to really focus on the donuts at the start because we wanted to make sure that it's the best of the best that is going out to the customers. Then now, um, we have this like Benoissery box series where we do more like different variations of our laminated croissant dough and also like our bombs are presented in a different way. Because our brand itself is a very hype brand, one of the most difficult challenges that we have to overcome is to how to navigate the, the industry when we're not hype anymore. The only way to do that is to actually continuously come up with new products. Whenever like something is popular, right, other people will follow suit as well. So we do see like quite a lot of other smaller bakeries coming up, like doing some sourdough donuts also as well. But then um, I think it's a good, like very healthy competition because it keeps us on our toes and it keeps us wanting to be better every time. It's not instead of just being like happy where we are, with like no competition, yeah. It's good lah, I feel. You guys gotta try this, it's really good. I mean, if you like coffee liquor. Oke, okay, untuk next stepnya ini kita masaknya, saya pribadi sih pake pan grill ya. Low torch ini, burn bitsnya aja sedikit-sedikit ya, biar ada bau-bau smokinya. Nah ini crusty bits yang di bawah ini, wah ini enak nih. Garing-garing. Flavor-nya semua di sana. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, this one is my favorite. Is it still the same? Always good. Always good. Never fails. Kalau sekarang uh, lebih santai. It's not a bad thing. Maksudnya, uh, Enaknya sekarang bisa lebih sering ketemu istri, gitu kan? Kalau dulu tuh. And he gets to spend more time not just with me, but also with his mom and with his brother. So overall, I think he's happier, um, and he still gets to cook. So I think that's the yeah. most important True. thing. Yeah. I can still make people happy with yes. my food. Thank you.